And it looks like we're about to start in about three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. And yep, uh, it seems like a bit of a slow start, but there we go. Those T3Ds burning right towards the enemy team there, mm -hmm. just trying to grab something. And it looks like they've got it. They've got the slep near there scrammed uh, away from the rest of his team. Uh, the Confessor seems to have held from that initial volley. We're just going to have to see how that goes. Yeah, they're going to try and take a bite out of the smaller stuff that kits in. And I don't think they're going to pull it off. Um, that sweep hole looks like it's in quite a bit of trouble. It's definitely getting slowed down, but it's getting reps, and I think it's trying to back off now. Uh, yep. It's, uh, it just looks like that the, there that you can see switch onto the guardian there of uh, the Wang Gang team from Templus Calcif putting some damage onto it, but it seems to be wrecking mm -hmm. up just fine. Doesn't look like it's tackled. Oh no, it is tackled. Why is it being tackled by? Uh, looks like oh, it looks like the vast majority of the enemy team is right on top of it now. It could this this might actually have been a rush team. We just weren't prepared for this. It doesn't look like uh, the Wang Gang were prepared for it either, really. But yet, not much damage being applied. And that Jackdaw is taking huge damage as well. There, going into mid shields before the sle before the scimitar of their team could apply reps. Uh, and whilst this Guardian seems to be holding the low damage that we talked about earlier, really, really coming to bite it in the uh, bite them in the behind, as they wait for these newts to really start to work on uh, that Guardian's capacitor and bring them uh, bring it down to the point where it can be damaged. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the Guardian is not kept stable on its own but you never i mean i can't really tell uh right now but can you see if anyone's trying to give the guardian reps i mean it would show up so it looks like they're not yeah it looks and like it's getting well, nuked and vamped all over the place but it's still holding yeah oh that kitsune nearly gets headshot there uh by the team even through reps barely holding on as it goes into structure as the guardian uh takes significant damage it seems like those newts from the curse have really really worked their magic putting you know turning off his uh whatever reps he has and meanwhile the oh and oh, oh that oh, kitsune what is excellent the structure? Work. oh wow my lord wow that two percent structure yep and that was yeah, and that, Johnny that on the Cena spot so work critical. by Sap Boy in the Scimitar, getting the reps on that Kitsune, uh, saving its life. That 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 ship almost almost dead. Yeah, and it should be noted by the way that the uh, team of Wang Gang do have a Harbinger in this match. It's just that it isn't showing up on the overview uh, due to the fact that it was a very, very last minute change. And Safoy in the Scimitar taking huge damage here, uh, just able to rep through it now. As the Guardian's damage seems to be have switched off or dropped off on that Guardian. God, this is a crazy match. Just so much positioning here. Everything's getting very, very spread apart as people are tackling, tackling each other all over the field. It looks like they're trying to target paint the scimitar which is a very smart move target painting anything of any of the guardian or i'm sorry any of the lodgy ships very smart move you want to get them off the field fast instead of trying to drain their tank because they can always replenish that but if once they're dead they're dead and they can't wrap anyone else and ooh, it looks like that kit soon oh it lives never mind it's, it's fine, but it, it's really important to just highlight the role that that Kitsune is playing. He's jamming out two of the major tackle ships on uh, the... Oh, and as we say that, the Confessor is going into structure here, and reps have not landed yet, and not even cycle oh. him. He's going down. Crazy stuff. But yeah, that Kitsune is jamming out all of the tackle uh, from the Wangan side, stopping the Scimitar, the Slepnir, all of that from being held down. And it's working relatively well, even as we sue that scimitar takes so so much damage and it's thanks to that target painter that i was talking about that allows every every other ship in the, the enemy fleet to maximize the damage potential that they're applying in there oh it looks like it's not gonna be it looks like even being able to kite isn't gonna be enough for that scimitar oh a huge rep there i think it might have reloaded or something but that was crazy this match is all over the place yeah I'm and i'm telling you see that uh, I'm looking, there's ships like 70 kilometers out, and there's ships that are like right next to the beacon duking it out. 
Yeah, it's worth noting that Tax Stalker, the Harbinger Navy issue of the Wang Gang team, undoubtedly putting a huge amount of damage onto that scimitar, is going into structure here with no reps once again from the Guardian. I, I can't tell if the Guardian's jammed out or if it's just been muted out of play by that curse. I think that must be the case because that's the only reason it can't be repping here, not even jammed, just purely drained of capacitor as the Harbinger goes down. And that, like, you know, that scimitar... Oh, he's, he's going down again. Oh, he's just toying with them at this point. Just letting them, let, seeing how low can he go as the Brutix Navy issue of Mr. Ben takes, uh, uh, becomes the primary for the Templars Kalsif team. This is an incredible showing for both sides. Just living with, you know, a, a game of uh, inches here, really. I really wish my auto locker would have picked up that, uh, that Harbinger because... I would like to see the state that it's in right now. It is dead, my friend. Oh, uh, never mind then. Uh, yep. And the Brutix Navy issue going into going into hull here as well. Just <laughs> is it hull tanked? Is it hull tanked? I don't think it is. As it goes uh... down, the, the, this curse putting in overtime, turning off all of the reps of that guardian because there was no screening left because the Kitsune was able to just tackle it all down. Oh no, it's been able to cycle its reps just once there, giving a little bit of a little extra breath of life to that Navy Brutix. Will it be enough? It doesn't look like it's inches closer, closer, and gone. That is a major chunk out of uh, Wang Gang's squadron, and that's going to really, really limit their ability to control the rest of this match. Yeah, no, it like I can't see them being able to break much more now. They're going to need to get killing right the on scimitar the would be a really good thing to do right about now if they could pull that off. If they could do that, they might still have a chance in here. Killing the scimitar, killing the curse. Either of those is going to be huge game for this team. And you can see that scimitar not having any reps left on it. Is it going to fall? Maybe it's run out of ASP charges. Structure. Maybe it's heated something out. It's just inching towards the grave here. Just tiny bits of damage being applied from millions and millions of miles away. It's like so far away from any hostile things. The only thing taking it down is drones and just glances in massive fall off. Oh, and it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. It's escaping in 10% structure there. Excellent piloting from Safoy. Yeah, he went out of lock range, so I can't exactly see what's happening. But he, just... he is starting to regenerate his shield, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like the Zvipo uh, of Zoan is going for him, trying to, like, solo 1v1 him down here. Uh, as the rest of the fight goes on, let's see if he's successful. If he will, it'll be a story for the ages. Oh, but no, it looks like he's about to be there. Done. It goes. No, oh my god, what a hero! There he goes, hero people. Did he do that while jammed, or did he not just get jammed after getting a volley off? I, I think he must have been out of, uh, in full off from that Kitsune. It is so far away from him, it just couldn't cycle, uh, it couldn't put enough, you know, the RNG won it down. And now we can see the team, uh, the Wang Gang team, putting all their DPS back on that curse, trying to uh, relieve the pressure on uh, their logistics. As uh, Templus Calcif puts all of their DPS on that Guardian as well, trying to get it off grid now that they lack uh, the support of their scimitar. A curse kill would definitely be helpful because they are down 32 to 15, and there's just over a minute remaining. Yeah, that Guardian is not long for this world, I think, as it slips nope. the structure, but neither is that curse as it goes into low shields here. God, this is this is fairly close. You know, you've got some of that super, super strong anti-support from uh, Wang Gang still left, but I don't know if it's going to be enough, especially with that Guardian out. They just might not have the, um, the staying power here, really, to fight them. Yep, it looks like uh, Templus Calcif is just controlling the grid right now. Yep, there, and there the we go. That's left, that's left them with just a Svipo, uh, sorry, an Astarte and a Cruor against an Amoa, Onyx, Kitsune, Curse, Jackdaw, and Sletnir. And whilst that Curse is going down, uh, led, uh, flown by the captain of Templus Calcif, uh, the last Spartan, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think these the ships that they have left are going to be just enough to scrape out a win here. Some incredible piloting from both sides, but unfortunately, those opening trades just went so, so much in favor of Templus Kalsif. 
Yeah, taking that curse cost them the cost uh, Wangang the crew, and that looks and time like is up. That. We we've seen a victory there from Templus Calcif, uh, being able to just uh clinch the win. Uh, without even being able to finish off the whole team, their low DPS setup were working purely due to the amount of control that they could bring to the grid there. That was incredible. Yeah, very, very impressive showing by Templus Calcif. Definitely surprised the hell out of me. Anyway, with that, let's uh, get back to the studio and listen to what the rest of the cast thinks that that was uh, all about. 